YouTube, it's your boy King Supreme. Back with a video, we got the difference between the UK, Great Britain, and England explained. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you need to see more bangers. From your boy, you feel me? Because the grind never stops. But hey, today, so we got some more interesting, interesting videos, bro. Very excited to get to this one, bro. If y'all new to the channel, bro, I get to anything, bro. Anything's going on this channel, bro. So, um, and I get all of my video uploads that I upload to the channel from y'all in the comment section down below. So, thank y'all for all the cool suggestions y'all been giving me, bro. I really appreciate it, bro. Um, so we're gonna get to this one. But I just read this is some L. Al Murray, bro. He's like a a, a, a British or a British uh, stand-up comedian, bro. Now, y'all go give me a bunch of suggestions on different videos I should get to. So, y'all know I get to anything on this channel, so I'm down for whatever. So, this one seemed pretty interesting to me. Thank y'all for the, suge the suggestions. Keep on letting me know in the comments what other videos I want to see next. But, yeah, bro, I'm very, very much excited, bro, to get to more of this kind of stuff, bro. And thank y'all. Again, y'all been giving me such cool, such fire, such banger of suggestions and recommendations and i keep on uploading to the channel being consistent as i can for y'all and i just really appreciate it bro. i've been having so much fun on this channel bro you know in these past few months these past few weeks and i hope y'all been having a good time as well we're gonna keep the consistency up bro but you know the deal is road to 50k you know the grind doesn't stop so be sure to turn on those post notifications because these, these videos are gonna, are gonna continuously be posted can't even talk, bro. I'm so excited, bro. But let's get straight into this one. The difference between the UK, Great Britain, and England. Explain, bro. I know this is going to be interesting, bro. Again, like I said, I'm going to visit there. I want to visit um, very, very soon. That's the first place out of um, America that I want to visit. Um, so, again, if y'all have any more things I want to talk about with Britain or um, with the UK or Great Britain, England, anything, just let me know down below in the comments. And I will uh, respond to y'all. Feel me? Thank y'all for the love. Let's straight to it. The difference, the difference between the UK, Great Britain, and England explained. Welcome to the United Kingdom and a whole lot more explained by me, CGP Gray. The United Kingdom, England, Great Britain, are these three the same place? Are they different places? Do British people secretly laugh at those who use the terms incorrectly? Who knows the answers to these questions? I do, and I'm going to tell you right now. Bro, I appreciate, appreciate it. This appreciate is the it. world, this is the European continent, and this is the place we have to untangle. The area shown in purple is the United Kingdom. Part of the confusion is that the United Kingdom is not a single country, but instead is a country of countries. It contains inside of it four co-equal and sovereign nations. The first of these is England, shown here in red. England is often confused with the United Kingdom as a whole because it's the largest and most populous of the nations and contains the de facto capital city, London. To the north is Scotland, shown in blue, and to the west is Wales, shown in white. And, often forgotten even by those who live in the United Kingdom, is Northern Ireland, shown in orange. Each country has a local term for the population. While you can call them all British, it's not recommended as the four countries generally don't like each other. The Northern Irish, Scottish, and Welsh regard the English as slave-driving colonial masters. No matter that all three have their own devolved parliaments and are allowed to vote on English laws, despite the reverse not being true, and the English generally guard the rest as rural yokels who spend too much time with their sheep. However, as the four constituent countries don't have their own passports, they are all British citizens, like mm. it or not. They are British citizens of the United Kingdom, whose full name, by the way, is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So where's Great Britain hiding? Right here. The area covered in black is Great Britain. Unlike England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, Great Britain is a geographical rather than a political term. Great Britain is the largest island among the British Isles. Within the United Kingdom, the term Great Britain is often used- Wow. I did not know about all this, bro. I really thought, no lie, bro. I thought it was all the same shit, bro. The UK, Great Britain. More like the UK and England. I always thought the UK and England were just the same shit. Like, I didn't realize England was like a, if I'm right, a smaller part of the UK. Or, or is that, Yeah, I didn't realize that. That's actually dope, bro. You feel me? I thought it was like all part of the same. I mean, it is in a sense, but at the same time, it's like different. I didn't realize that. Y'all were talking about a little bit in the comments of my other video that I uploaded recently, but... I, I didn't really understand fully, but yeah, this video is really, really cool. We're only a minute in, bro, but I'm already learning so much new stuff about it, bro. I'm telling you, bro, I'm really excited to visit there, bro. It's not going to be soon, soon, bro, but for sure in the future, bro. That's first place out of America I want to visit type shit. That's, I feel like that's going to be so dope, bro. Like, over the, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really excited for that. But yeah, this video is really cool. Thank y'all for the suggestion right here, bro. Let right. me know what else so I should react to in the comments. comments. Right here. The area covered in black is Great Britain. Unlike England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, Great Britain is a geographical rather than a political term. Great Britain is the largest island among the British Isles. Within the United Kingdom, the term Great Britain is often used to refer to England, <coughs> Scotland, and Wales alone with the intentional exclusion of Northern Ireland. This is mostly, but not completely true, as all three constituent countries have islands that are not part of Great Britain, such as the Isle of Wight, part of England, the Welsh Isle of Anglesey, the Scottish Hebrides, the Shetland Islands, the Auckland Islands, and the Islands of the Clyde. The second biggest island in the British Isles is Ireland. It's worth noting at this point that Ireland is not a country. Like Great Britain is a geographical, not political term. The island of Ireland contains on its two countries, Northern Ireland, which we have already discussed, and the Republic of Ireland. 
When people say they are Irish, they are referring to the Republic of Ireland, which is a separate country from the United Kingdom. However, both the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom are members of the European Union, even though England in particular likes to pretend that it's an island in the Mid-Atlantic rather than 50 kilometers off the coast of France. But that's a story for another time. To review, the two largest islands in the British Isles are Ireland and Great Britain. Ireland has only two countries, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, while Great Britain mostly contains three, England, Scotland, and Wales. These last three, when combined with Northern Ireland, form the United Kingdom. There are still many unanswered questions, such as why when you travel to Canada is there British royalty on the money? To answer this, we need to talk about empire. You can't have gone to school in the English-speaking world without having learned that the British Empire once spanned a fourth of the world's land and governed nearly a fourth of the world's people. While it's easy to remember the parts of the British Empire that broke away violently, we often forget how many nations gained independence through diplomacy, not bloodshed. These want to be nations struck a deal with the empire, where they continue to recognize the monarchy as the head of state in exchange for a local autonomous parliament. To understand how they are connected, we need to talk about the crown. Not the physical crown that sits behind glass in the Tower of London and earns millions of tourist pounds for the UK, but the crown is a complicated legal entity best thought of as a one-man corporation. Who created this corporation? God did. According to British tradition, all power is vested in God and the monarch is crowned in a Christian ceremony. God, however, not wanting to be bothered with micromanagement, conveniently delegates his power to an entity called the crown. While this used to be the physical crown in the tower... Like <laughs> said, not wanting to be delegated to micromanagement is crazy. But I get it. It makes sense, though. <laughs> but dang, this is really fat. Now, real talk, though. Real talk, though. No joke. I was just like, this is really fascinating, but I'm not going to cap with you. I love type of videos like this. Videos about history, videos about different cultures, different backgrounds. But like I said, spam down below in the comments other videos like this. I'm down, I literally back to whatever, bro. Comedy, sports, videos like this, history. I like to literally anything on this channel, bro. So please keep on letting me know in the comments what other cool, interesting videos I want to see next because I'm down for whatever. And whatever I see in the comments, I will upload on the channel. So stay tuned and continue to feed me. Comment down below, you feed me. But yeah, interesting video, though. Corporation. Who created this corporation? God did. According to British tradition, all power is vested in God, and the monarch is crowned in a Christian ceremony. God, however, not wanting to be bothered with micromanagement, conveniently delegates his power to an entity called the Crown. While this used to be the physical crown in the Tower of London, it evolved over time into a legal corporation soul, able to be controlled only by the ruling monarch. It's a useful reminder that the United Kingdom is still technically a theocracy, with the reigning monarch acting as both the head of state and the supreme governor of the official state religion, Anglicanism. Mm. Such are the oddities that arise when dealing with a thousand-year-old monarchy. Back to Canada and the rest. The former colonies that gained their independence through diplomacy and continue to recognize the authority of the crown are known as the Commonwealth realm. They are, in decreasing order of population, Canada, Australia, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, Jamaica, the Solomon Islands, Belize, the Bahamas, Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Tuvalu. All are independent nations, but still recognize the monarchy as the head of state, even though it has little real power within their borders. Mm. There are three further entities that belong to the crown, and these are the crown dependencies, the Isle of Man, Jersey, and Guernsey. Unlike the Commonwealth realm, they are not considered independent nations, but are granted local autonomy by the crown and British citizenship by the United Kingdom, though the UK does reserve the right to overrule the laws of their local assemblies. Are we done now? Almost, but not quite. There are still a couple wow. of loose threads, such as this place, the tiny city of Gibraltar on the southern coast of Spain, famous for its rock, its monkeys, and for causing diplomatic tension between the United Kingdom and Spain. Or what about the Falkland Islands, which caused so much tension between the United Kingdom and Argentina that they went to war over them? These places belong in the last group of crown properties known as British Overseas Territories, but their former name, Crown Colonies, gives away their origin. They are the last vestiges of the British Empire. Unlike the Commonwealth realm, they have not become independent nations and continue to rely on the United Kingdom for military and sometimes economic assistance. Like the Crown Dependencies, every Everyone born within their borders is a British citizen. The Crown Colonies are, in decreasing order of population, Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, the Turks and Caicos Islands, Gibraltar, the British Virgin Islands, Akrotiri and Dekelia, Anguilla, St. Helena, the Ascension Islands, Tristan de Cunha, Montserrat, the British Indian Ocean Territory, the South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands, the Falkland Islands, the British Antarctic Territory, and the Pitcairn Islands. For our final Venn diagram, the United Kingdom is a country situated on the British Isles and is part of the Crown which is controlled by the monarchy. Also part of the crown in the British Isles are the crown dependencies. Mm. The independent nations of the former empire that still recognize the sense. crown are the Commonwealth realm, and the non-independent nations of the former but empire it makes are the British overseas territories. Thank you very much for watching. But the fact that he condensed this in a five-minute video is actually pretty insane, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was talking fast, but you could really understand everything he was talking about, though. You feel me? Uh, mad respect to him, though. That was a really cool... Thank y'all for that suggestion, bro. Again, but yeah, shout out to CGB, CGP Gray. Yeah, shout out to him, bro. That was a really cool video. And thank y'all for this really, really cool suggestion. I love recommendations like this, bro. These are really, really cool. I'm not going to lie to you. So thank y'all for this. You need me, but that's it. I'm telling you, bro, we're going crazy on this channel, bro. You feel me? I'm just really head on about the consistency, bro. I want to get more active on my community tab. I want to be more, uh, what's it called? More, uh, what's it called? Um, 
you know what I'm saying? I, I, I always try to respond to all y'all in the comments as much as I can. I do. I drop so many videos. I just want to make sure I'm locked in with this consistency, and then I'm gonna get all the rest of the stuff going on, bro. But we have so I have so many interesting things going forward for this channel and everything. So y'all just need to stay tuned, bro, because this is just the beginning, bro. We're filming. We're at. 40k pretty much right now bro we're about to reach such great heights bro and this is just the beginning bro i really have so much cool amazing things planned in the store bro y'all just gotta stay tuned but much love to y'all know the dealers road to 50k so you know the grind doesn't stop be sure to stay tuned and turn on those post notifications because you better continuously be posted and i want to catch y'all um in the next videos but like comment subscribe share if you see more videos it's your boy king supreme i'll see y'all soon